Welcome back to the channel. This is the final part of our AFC North team breakdown. If you're an AFC North fan, go watch the other ones. Learn about the competition. I am very insightful, trust me. But yeah, today we're talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers, and let's get into it. So last year they went 9-7-1 and and somehow made the playoffs. They lost to the Chiefs, got killed, and that's when they had Big Ben. Now Big Ben is gone, and they got Kenny Pickett. So let's go over some talking points for this Steelers team. I'm realizing right now, and I feel like I have one of these in every video, I forgot to mention Mitch Trubisky. I was just kind of going under the impression from what I had heard that Kenny Pickett was going to be the starter this year, but I saw a reported depth chart, and apparently he's like third right now behind Mitch and Mason Rudolph, of all people. So maybe all of this stuff that I'm going to talk about Kenny Pickett in this video is going to be irrelevant because Kenny Pickett might not even play that much, even though I think he's super pro-ready and he should be able to play. So... I, yeah, I talk about Kenny Pickett a lot, so it could be completely for nothing, but Mitch Trubisky is going to be about as good as Kenny Pickett, in my opinion, anyway, so it's the same thing, same record prediction, and let's get on with the video. So first off, this is their first year without Big Ben in forever. I mean, it feels like, I think he might have been on the team longer than I've been alive. Yeah, Big Ben was drafted in 2004, 11th overall by the Steelers. I was born in 2004 after the draft. So this guy was for, played for the Steelers for longer than I've been alive, and now he's gone. So what do they do? They went and got Kenny Pickett. And although Kenny Pickett was not my number one QB, he wasn't my number two QB. He was my number three QB. I think he's going to fit their system well. And we'll talk more about how Tomlin will use him in a minute. But they have a great core group of position players and a good defense. I mean, they have TJ Watt, and then they drafted George Pickens. They have Chase Claypool. They have Deontay Johnson. And I really like that receiving core. They have Najee Harris. And then if the offensive line can continue to hopefully play above average, that could be really good for them. But again, it's a really tough AFC North, so can they compete? And so now let's go over my prediction for this year and why. My floor is six wins. Kenny Pickett doesn't work out. The defense doesn't really play great. And the offense just kind of eh, it just kind of gets caught up. They've got to relearn the system. They're just trying to experiment. And Kenny Pickett just doesn't have a good rookie year. I think that is a six-win performance from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And my ceiling is 11 wins. Kenny Pickett balls out, is pro-ready. The defense plays insane. All of the guys on offense help contribute and really uplift Kenny in year one. Again, I don't think he's any kind of crazy quarterback, or at least right now. But if his position players play really well then they could be really, really good. But my prediction is 9-8, and eight, a little bit worse than last year, which is crazy, but I feel like it's crazy that they went 9-7-1 last year with Big Ben, who literally couldn't throw the ball or move, and I, I just can't in good conscience put them above 9 wins. This is a good roster, but with a rookie quarterback, there's a lot of questions, and this AFC, we're going to say this in like every video for AFC teams, the AFC is freaking ridiculous. There are so many good teams, so many teams that could make a run and make the wild card. You know what? Let's go over all of them. All four of the AFC West. I would say three of the AFC North. That's seven. Everyone but the Browns. The Browns aren't going to make the playoff. Actually, no. If the Browns have Deshaun Watson, we'll count them too. Now, AFC South, eh, the Titans, I guess. Maybe the Colts. Maybe the Colts. And then the AFC East, the Bills, obviously. The Dolphins, probably. And maybe the Jets. And maybe the Patriots. But there's like two bad teams in all of the AFC and it's the Texans and it's the um the Jaguars and they could both I mean the Texans aren't gonna be that good and maybe in the Jets might not be either but the Jets have potential every team in the AFC could win like seven games if they go off that's ridiculous the NFC does not have that many good teams there's the Falcons there's the Giants there's a lot of bad teams in the NFC but let's start let's go back to the Steelers and despite being a rookie quarterback, I think Kenny Pickett is going to play well. I believe in him and how Tomlin will use him. He's already more mobile than Ben and probably Ben ever was. And I think Tomlin mentioned that going into the draft process. He wanted a guy that's more mobile. And I think Tomlin's going to use that mobility very well. And Pickett's young. He can move. He's going to do a lot of good things. And he's going to take hits. And he's going to you know go out there and really put himself on the line for extra yards, which may not be great long term. But for this year, I think could be a positive thing for the Steelers. Also, I think he's probably got a better arm than Big Ben last year. Big Ben was terrible last year. He could not move the ball. And maybe that's like a reactionary. Like, maybe I'm overreacting. I didn't watch every Steelers game. I'll be completely honest. Why would I Why would I do that to myself? Um, but he was not He was not very good. So I think that Kenny's going to be better year one. 
Obviously, Big Ben is a franchise legend and a franchise cornerstone. But yeah, they made the playoffs with Big Ben, so I think they could have a pretty good season with Kenny Pickett. And if the O-line can step up and the team can just kind of play similarly to how they did last year, at least on the defensive side of the ball, I would not be surprised to see them competing for a wild card spot and a playoff spot pretty much all year. I don't think they make it. And again, a really crowded AFC. Wait, let's think of seven teams that can make the playoffs about the Steelers. The Bengals, the Ravens, the Chiefs, the Chargers. I hate to say it. Maybe the Raiders, um, the Bills, that's five. Probably, oh yeah, the Raiders over the Steelers. The Broncos over the Steelers. Um, who am I forgetting? The Titans, I, the Titans are not good. But that's, you know, that's a few teams. That's not my final list for sure. But again, I think they're going to be competitive and I think they're going to be fun to watch with Kenny Pickett. I think he's going to bring some life into this franchise that they haven't had in a while. And yeah, kind of get him past that whole drama area of the killer bees, you know, the big three, Le'Veon, Pigpen, AB, that kind of went down in flames. So we'll see if this new era of Steelers football can, you know, be positive and be something the fans are going to be excited about. And we'll have to see again, they have TJ Watt, who is one of the best edge rushers in football. They're going to hate me for saying one of the best. I think Miles Garrett, I think Miles Garrett is better, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. That's the end of our AFC North preview. As you can tell, these are all recorded in one sitting as I'm wearing the same shirt. Um, a few good things by Saba. Go listen to it. It's a, it's a great album. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up. I don't know if I'm going to start writing and scripting for other divisions before these come out, but if I don't, or even if I do, let me know what division I should do next because I really don't care what order I go in. I might do all the AFC. I might go north north south south like kind of how um bootleg football has been doing theirs uh big shout out to them they kind of made me at least think about doing these and i think that was some subliminal uh influence so if you don't know the bootleg bootleg football podcast with brett coleman and ej snyder go check that out too um and yeah that seems like a good random plug to end the video thank you for watching thank you for tuning in um again stay tuned for a lot of things on this channel Again, I'm about to move across the country to go to college, and I don't know how much recording I'm going to be able to do, at least initially. So I'm getting a lot of these recorded. I'm not going to probably be able to get to every team. I'm going to try, but I'm going to have more film breakdowns on the way. I've been spoiling it every video, but Caleb Williams, one of my favorite players in college football, is going to come out very soon, hopefully. I'm also looking at Jackson Smith and the Jigba and suggest more prospects to feature down below. But this ending is going on way too long. Uh, thank you for watching, and yeah, have a great day.